Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West where today we're gonna do the Poseidon quest which I keep wanting to call Atlantis in my own head and I keep almost saying it out loud but this is Poseidon not Atlantis but not dissimilar of the idea of Atlantis but anyway <laughs> thank you all for watching I appreciate it and the video will start in a second Camping gear. Tower of Tears. Yeah, and there's like active fires going, and there's water. Anybody, yeah, you would want to, if, if there's water coming out of this building, people would set up here for sure. In a desert? 100%. What? I, I just got another bolt blaster? Dude, you can just find these things out and about. It's wild to me. I think the... Uh, I bought the plasma one. On my own. This one already has, like, bolt. I could probably just sell this one, honestly. I probably could. Because this one's specialized against aerial enemies, but I think it would still work against regular enemies, even with the regular, like, the impact arrows that it has. Impact bolts. Sweet. That's... And it's a freaking... That's amazing. It's just amazing. I, I want to pick up more armor this way. <laughs> Keep picking up weapons. Oh, look, people. Oh, the, I have a stash in here and everything. Looks like there's something behind that tarp. Hello? <laughs> what? <laughs> of course it's Osram. Oh, oh, I was Adam. Oh, I was so close. Oh, to drowning, maybe. Not not to the embers. M Moreland. <gasps> Moreland! Oh my gosh! Well, not for me, it's not. No, I think he was from the DLC in Horizon we're Zero Dawn. Alone. Because we're not sticking around to fish out the corpse. We're through. And so the visionary's fate hung in the balance. Would he choose life or succumb to deadly delusion? <clears throat> Hello. So, there's an ancient city under the sand, but it's flooded. She's so cool. Suddenly, a Nora spear maiden appeared. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> well, you're not typical Delvers. He's a, That's he's a sure. poet over there. A story weaver. What's this? Uh, I, I call it a diamond. <gasps> this is the Mark I. The Mark II was better, but uh, it got stuck halfway down. Air tube snagged. You went down in that. Yeah, I hardly expect a lay person to understand. Because that's pretty sweet. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. May I remind you, you got stuck inside and nearly drowned. <laughs> portable, though. <laughs> Machine kneecap, maybe? Well, you'd need a filter. Synthetic membrane would do it. With a hose to a Compressed, compressed air, air capsule, capsule. Mm. hammer and tongs. he's in love <laughs> <laughs> she's a stranger she's beautiful you got a name Aloy Moreland maybe he's not the same one anymore Aww. You're damn <laughs> You're damn come on I got the original schematics over here this guy. Oh, um well, the voice on. acting is Just so a good. Couple of questions first. Fair enough. Partner. Partner. <laughs> wow! <laughs> he took his, his, his hand on his hip. I thought Moreland was the name of the guy that I worked with in the DLC. This name sounds so familiar. Maybe it was from like a different thing. I don't know. Anyway, did you see their eyes? They were all like, "Whoa, dang!" A very attractive. Warrior woman just walked in here. <laughs> and then these two guys. Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> oh, that was actually... That's what I would... If, if a beautiful, like, war-painted, armored Nora maiden walked up while I was, like, doing something, I'd be, like, having an argument or something, I'd be like, uh... You know, you just, like, just jaw drops. You're like, what? <laughs> Am I dreaming? Am I hallucinating? Like, what? And then she's like, and then she talks shop with you? This guy's, he's, he's done for. He's done for. What's so important down there that you'd risk your life? Yeah, stop stealing! Uh, uh well... <clears throat> uh. Moreland, I'm not interested in salvage, okay? Whatever you find below is yours. Well, all right. And what if I told you we were delving for the most spectacular treasures ever scribed by man or maid? I'd say get to the mm. point. No nonsense. I like it. This is a Behold poetic group. An ember. Looks like a piece of junk. Well, now, yes, but, but, but with a proper spark. These magnificent creations of the old ones paint mesmerizing pictures in the air. And the ruins below us are full mm. of them. A feast for the eyes beyond description. This is my old Gramps promised me. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe this is where the, this is where it comes in. How did your grandfather Maybe. discover these emperors? He was here. Forty odd years ago. He he was one of the first to lead a delving party into the West. He discovered the ancient city around us, plumbed the depths of this very structure. He found the hollow underneath and the glowing embers all about. Took as many as he could and brought them home. He always wanted to come back and get more, but, well, he never scraped up the shards. What he really wanted to do was use the embers to put on a show, one unlike the world has ever seen. Sounds like quite a guy. He was a true delver. Oh, shot. that's why they're all like this. Well, I miss him. But I will do him proud. That's why they're all I will gather the poetic and epic. And put on a spectacle that would have amazed even him. With your help, of course. I thought maybe the grandfather was named Moreland and he got the name and maybe I worked with the grandfather. I can't remember. Can't remember that guy's name. I swear you encounter him. I think I've heard you encounter him. But this, these guys are all, they're all, it seems like several of them are probably, these three, especially that guy in the corner. <laughs> He's probably, there's some sort of like showman, like epic, you know, they write epics and um, poetry and all this stuff. Uh, multifaceted individuals. So these embers project images? Paintings of light amazing stuff this one showed the most beautiful woman you've ever seen beckoning all to a buffet of lobster and succulent beefs <laughs> I must have watched it about a hundred times as a child in my old Gramps workshop what happened to it over time they die out cried the day that this one's light faltered. But there are many more below, as you'll see. This is Las Vegas. Down there like I did and my old gramps before me. So there are probably many of them inappropriate holograms, let's be real. <laughs> so what exactly happened down there? It was a delve like no other. A chance to follow my old gramps footsteps. Beneath this structure here is an enormous hollow, a dome protected from the sands. We built this elevator here to ensure easy egress and exit. It's quite a contraption, actually, and not so easy. That... Uh, right. Again. What happened? At the bottom, we beheld the treasure my Gramps first discovered. Painted images in the air of every description. Dancing women games and coins and promises of jackpots. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is, but it's got to be good. Then something went wrong. The images turned nautical. Oh, Poseidon. Things went through them, even fish. It's like a strange underwater dream. 
Poseidon's dream. Yes. Well, suddenly there was this terrible rushing sound, and then an explosion of water erupted from the floor. So they were, they were not swimming. I thought maybe they were, I don't, no, he had to be swimming all the way down. So water just shot up from the floor and filled the place up? It was a raging flood unlike anything I've oh, seen. Oh, okay, so they were walking. We ran like forge fire and barely made it up the elevator as a wave just crashed beneath us. Shaken, but not stirred. I, I, I Shaken, but not stirred. Bubbles, mark one, mark two. <laughs> oh my gosh. I tried the descent in each, but I nearly drowned both times. Abbot Dunn's beside himself. He thinks I'm insane. But I can't give up now. I, I, I've, just, I've come too far. And the embers are just barely within my reach. Well, maybe I can help. Yeah. Maybe you can. This man is starstruck. You guys don't seem like average Delvers. We're not really Delvers at all. We're ah. We're showmen. Like performers? You're Nora. And thus unfamiliar with the arts. We stage spectacles all around the claim. Stemmer tells stories, which I augment with all manner of sounds and fireworks and Abaddund, he, well, complains. Nah. He handles the money. It amounts to about the same thing. <laughs> when we delve, it's to find gear for my theatrics. Which makes this delve the most important one of all. It's funny to think that the Osterum, who are very stoic and pragmatic in a lot of ways, that they would be the ones that would appreciate this kind of a thing. But it makes sense, right? Like you can't be you can't be all work and no play all the time. And if you can have a show that utilizes things that you appreciate, like like a tinkering things and explosive things, maybe sounds, fireworks, bright light, you know, things that like cater to the things that you guys do, like to the things that you do as like a culture, as like a group. Like, of course everybody would love that, right? It's just funny, right? right? You wouldn't necessarily expect the arts and the showmen to come from the Osterum. You'd think maybe the car gel or something would do that, but it, it makes perfect sense that the Osterum would be into something like this. <laughs> How deep is it? Can't I just swim down? Only if you have gills. You can stack 50 kegs in that shaft. Leave it to the Osserum to measure something. <laughs> That's what I was gonna, I was gonna say! With the depths. I'd say it's apt. <laughs> it's too deep to hold my breath. Hence, our new invention. That man. I'd better get after those parts. There's a fully intact compressed air capsule in the Mark II, but like I said, it's stuck in the shaft. If you made it back up alive, I should be able to swim down that far. All right. As for the other parts, Stemmer scouted a herd due south of here that should have what we need. I'm on it. Great. I'll come back when you get the gear. Good hunting. Hee <laughs> hee. Diving mask. Oh yeah, buddy. It's time. And I get to make cute little friends. This is so fun. <gasps> you have stuff? Probably get a oh, guest list of 50. <laughs> so we need some, uh, at least three dozen kegs. <laughs> Brown ale, maybe. Uh, no, no. For him, scrappers up. Are you planning a party? Budgeting for Moreland's funeral, thanks to you. Ah. I was this close. <sighs> we were going to move on. Leave all this nonsense behind, and you come along. Ah, you spark your wet noodle idea. Wet noodle What's idea. Going to work? Uh, I've heard that before. So, uh, how does someone like you end up working for someone like Moreland? I work with. Yeah, Moreland. yeah. We got three equal claims in this venture. I saw one of his early shows back when I was. Just him and his inventions. Works of flame, lights, and 
Shadows, all kinds of gizmos. Never seen the like. But the man is all spectacle. No sense. Bleeds shards like, like, you get the idea. Mm. Without me to handle the finances, his dreams would be sunk. More sunk. Yeah. Yeah. Wish we were back in the claim. Plenty of normal shows to do without the the salvage from this blasted place. And yet, you're here, in the middle of the desert, delving for his dream. It was a good one. He's a Sometimes, good guy. A dream has to die. He's just a bit more on the pragmatic side and a little bit afraid of, you know, bad things happening, which is totally fair. <laughs> um... What was I thinking? Um, they remind me again. I think I keep encountering these sorts of uh, dichotomies, and I do. I think maybe this is just really common, but uh, maybe maybe these the developers also play a little bit of Dragon Age. It reminds me of Wade and Harun. I think it's Harun, Har Harun. Yeah, in Dragon Age Origins. Um, one is the like super talented you know esoteric like smith master you know who's like constantly like you know trying to chase the next big thing and heron is the one who's like now now and he's the one who's like trying to like fit, like uh, liaison with people and like keep things on track and it's just i just i think these little these dynamic duos are funny i like them this dream of morland's is going to get him killed Let's say it doesn't. What happens after he gets the salvage down there? Then we put on the greatest show the world's ever seen. We'll have, we'll have special seating, premium ale, the works. Morlin will do his, his light spectacle thing. Stemmer will get their eyes a-sparkling with his tails, and I'll be selling tickets. <laughs> It's a nice thought, anyway. Morland mentioned you were showman. What? An ostrom? Yeah, here we go. Other than a, a, a delver, tinker, or drunkard? <laughs> okay, sure, we are delvers, too. But that is not our main source of income. Mostly, we go town to town, put on show. These shows, what are they? What happens at them? Tales and spectacle. Uh, uh, Morland's got the technical know-how. Builds uh, all manner of inventions, whirly gigs of, of light and sound, cannons that, that, that shoot fire and showers of sparks and stemmer. Keeps them enthralled. Tales of adventure in the smoothest baritone. <laughs> yeah, that. I was going to say, who's... Me. The voice actor for him. The financials for the whole blasted thing. <laughs> those two, eh, those two might have the, the sparks, but do you think they know their way around shards? <laughs> do they... No, they don't. <laughs> ha, no, they don't. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. Uh, but no, I was actually, when he, when he first started, when the guy Stemmer started, started talking, um, when I walked in, I was like, holy cow, is that, like, a celebrity? Like, legitimately, like, who's that voice actor? Like, it's very modular, like, modulated. Like, it's a very good, not modular, modulated. Like, it's a very good voice. <laughs> very showman, yes. So, Moreland was down in this ancient city, and... The three of us went down below. You? I can delve, too. Right. And, uh, then what happened? What do you think? Water rushed in, we ran. And... Morlin built that blasted thing. Nearly got himself drowned. Twice. Hey, you want the finer details of his stupidity? You go ask him. I'm always willing to engage in some commerce. What you got? What you got, buddy, buddy, buddy? Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Yikes. Okay, not that. Uh, what does it do? Oh, nice. An adhesive arrow. Light arrows pack a punch. Don't care. Oh, uh, you already seen that one. Interesting. Oh, piercing shredder gauntlets. Plus the electricity. That's cool. I just don't have enough shards for it, but I'm not going to get... 
Mushroom Striker. Oh my gosh. Resonator. Oh, I haven't. I totally forgot about the Resonator stuff. Oh, that's right. I don't melee that often. Someday, someday I will do a melee build in this game. For sure. Um, but I, uh, I, it looks cool. Like, I like the look. No. Let's see what I have. I can sell. I don't have a ton, but. So he doesn't he doesn't have anything really that I would that I haven't seen elsewhere. I just worry like eventually they'll probably move on. Um I've seen that one. I haven't seen this one, I don't think. Maybe I have. I don't care about that. And the outfit, I don't know if I've seen it, but I'm also not too worried about it, you know? So Oh okay, okay bye. Do us a favor. Leave us all alone. <gasps> That's really me. Yeah, it, that was that was excessively mean. We've been having a conversation. I'm the one who's gonna risk my life in this, not Morlin. Oh my gosh, that guy. I'm like he's he's a good guy at heart, and he probably is really, but he's being mean. I don't like it. That was like that was that was that was just rude. Hearted huntress approached. Her appearance is sudden as a spark of destiny. The delve was at its direst. That's uh, quite the introduction. Mm. Maybe, uh, maybe a little eternal rhyme instead. A maiden rose from the very sands that bore our woes. Oh, he's good. Nah, too trite. What's <laughs> you and all the uh, words? That's what I do. The stalwart storyteller gazed upon the maiden with well-earned pride in his life's work. Stemmer Wordsmith, at your service. Nice name. What exactly does a wordsmith do? Uh, like a tinker at the forge. A wordsmith hammers out words to entrance all who hear them. Young, the old, and frequently the inebriated. I take the Osram for storytellers. Uh, they say the only thing makes a cold brew go down easier is a tale of times gone by. But it's always best to hit the road before the keg runs dry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, buddy. Uh, why? Why is that? <laughs> oh, well, the Osram can get mighty agitated if they run out of drink or if they don't like your story. It was like, huh? <laughs> so you're saying being a wordsmith can be dangerous? Oh, yeah. Story goes the wrong way. Osram will throw stuff at you. What, like fruit? More like chairs or grenades. Yeah. But the veteran uh, wordsmith look at my stuff. persevered through it all. Hammer in hand, ready to give as good as he got. How do you think we got here all the way from the claim anyway? Past those blasted machines wasn't by talking oh these three must have been the three that went earlier than anybody else that 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 the other ostrom decided to follow interesting so they must be pretty good then your friend over there doesn't like me too much the loud one the old bee counter has the personality of a mossy rock <laughs> but oh what a wicked mind for money a memory as long as life or even the smallest debt. Uh, by that, he means he owes me shards. 147, to be exact. But as sharp as he was in things pecuniary, he had a dull forgetfulness for how many times a certain wordsmith saved his hoary hide. 147. <laughs> 147. How did you end up following Moreland out here? Bright-eyed Moreland held his dreams aloft like a burning candle. And where that light went, the hearts of men were sure to follow. It's inspiring to follow so someone like that. Admire him? Admiration is but a gentle fire. 
It's the spark, the delvers, and tinkers, and rogues alike are sure to warm to. Okay, guess that answers something. Someone who's obviously so passionate about, you know, a dream draws people to them because people want to, you know, be a part of that in a lot of ways, you know, maybe see a little bit of themselves in that too, Let's you know? Go see someone about an underwater city. And lo, uh. the huntress went forth. <laughs> She's trying to be. <laughs> She's trying to be <laughs> that, like, I don't know, wordplay. Not really wordplay, but like her her sort of direct way of being like i got to go <laughs> that's so funny but i'm afraid i will have to call this one here this is this is really cool and these guys are super fun um i will i will do this quest immediately cuz i want to get this is i didn't realize that this was apparently where approaches. this is where the um the water breather is so that's convenient i just walked right into it so anyway I guess, yeah, it makes sense. There's water pouring out of it, so it was kind of obvious, but thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. That was fun. That was a fun one. I'm going to be able to end it on that now uh, and go do something else. I'm rambling now. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Um, really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but especially Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special thank you to my tree tier patrons, Christopher and Adam. Christopher, thank you so, so much for your support. I truly appreciate it a lot. You're the super bestest, and I'm just super excited that you are enjoying these videos and supporting me. It's super great. <laughs> Adam, thank you so much. You are also the super bestest, and your support means the world. It's really, really nice. It's really, really nice of you. So thank you guys again uh, for supporting me, and I hope to see you on the next one.